Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to root the Amazon Fire TV. One of the biggest reasons why you should root the Amazon Fire TV is because it will give you access to the USB port in order for you to play your own movies, TV shows, even music. To get started with rooting it, you will need to be running software version 51.1.0.2 or anything lower than that. So make sure you check out the description. I will try to update it if any future releases come out and they are rootable. So make sure you follow the description and I'll have all the information on there. After you make sure you have the correct version, write down your IP address. Last but not least, make sure ADB debugging is enabled. That is it for the Amazon Fire TV part. Now you will move on to your computer. I'm using a Mac, so bear with me. On your Mac, go to the first link in the description where you will be able to download the SDK software if you don't already have it. Next, move on to the second link in the description where it will take you to towelroot.com. Click the orange symbol and you'll download the towelroot APK file. Next, head over to the third link in the description where you will download Super User. Just click the generate link and you'll get a download link. You'll see it in the next one because this one I, I was on the page too long, so I need to refresh. After that, head over to the fourth link and this is what it should look like. Just click the green download button and this will be for BusyBox. After you have downloaded those files, you should have the SDK folder, the BusyBox APK, TileRoot APK, and SuperUser Zip. You're going to extract the SuperUser Zip file, open it up, open the common folder, and move SuperUser.APK to your downloads folder. This will make it a lot easier to find. So now you should have the BusyBox, SuperUser APK, TileRoot APK, and the SDK software. Now go ahead and open up the SDK folder, then open up the Platform Tools folder, right click on ADB, Get Information, and highlight everything next to where, and copy it. Open up Terminal where we will enter the commands. If you have watched my XBMT tutorial video, you should be familiar with these commands. So just follow them as you will see on the screen and you should be good to go. The first one will be to kill the server. The second one will be to start the server. Again, follow the on-screen instructions that'll make it a lot easier. Third one is to connect to your IP address. And now after this part, we will start installing all these files. So you would type in install, space, now you're going to locate the towel root APK, right click on it, get info, highlight everything next to where, copy it, and paste it under terminal, but that's not it, type in forward slash, now you take the file name, copy it, and paste it in the command. Hit enter, and now we're done. Next, we're going to do the same thing, but for the super user file. So you can go ahead and highlight all of this right here, as you can see on the screen, all the way up to ADB. It'll make it a lot easier. Paste it, space, install. And then now you can even type in the location yourself. It's in the users folder, my name, downloads folder, and then we'll just copy the file name. Hit 
hit enter and it'll install on the Fire TV. Last but not least, we are going to install BusyBox. BusyBox is really an optional thing to install if you want to. You don't have to though. So I'm just going to copy this all the way up to install. I can actually copy the whole directory. So copy the whole directory there, forward slash, and then the file name of BusyBox. There you go, hit enter. And we're almost done. And that's it, now you can type in exit and you'll be done with terminal for now. Now we will move on to the Amazon Fire TV. Go ahead and go over to Applications. Here you will see all the applications we sent over to the Amazon Fire TV, such as BusyBox, TileRoot, and SuperUser. XBMC, I did that another time, so that was already on there. First thing you want to do is go ahead and launch TileRoot and just select Make It Rain. After you select it, you're going to get that message saying, your phone will reboot in 15 seconds. Even though it's not a phone, it still works. After it reboots, it'll take you to the main menu. So now you go back to settings and launch super user from the applications menu. Click continue. Click normal. And hit OK. You now have super user. So now we want to test out if it worked. So to do this, go ahead and open up terminal and enter all the commands that we did previously, such as kill server, start server, connect. And after you do connect, you type in shell space SU, then hit enter. And now immediately after you hit enter, you will see this on your Amazon Fire TV and you have to grant access. And to do that, just scroll down and you will see deny and grant right there below the minutes. So go ahead and grant access. And that is how you know if you are rooted or not. Type in exit two times and you will be able to exit out of terminal. Last but not least, we're going to be taking a look at BusyBox. When you get that white screen, just click back and it'll do its thing. You can go ahead and click on install. And if you know how to use BusyBox, then go ahead and do whatever you need to do. If you don't know how to use BusyBox, then just search for some tutorials on how to use it. I don't know what you can do with it at this point but I will be taking a look at it and I'll have videos if I find anything interesting. Anyways, uh, stay tuned for my next video where I will show you how to disable over the air updates in order to preserve your root. So you guys should be interested in that. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Like this video if you found it helpful. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.